Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria here present. My name is S.M. Mata, Director of the Affairs Department, covering the Office of the Permanent Secretary. Thank you, sir. Colonel Farouk Ehaya. So I'm a self designate Nigerian Army. Thank you, sir. Like I mentioned, I am Major General Farouk Ehaya, Chief of Army Staff de Designate Nigerian Army. I am here before the distinguished senators for screening to be confirmed otherwise as the Chief of Army Staff Nigerian Army. What I brought along in this highly tasking office <coughs> is about 36 years of military experience, having joined the Army on 27 September 1985 as a member of that seven regular course degree, and also an infantry officer. Since that time, when I passed out September 22, 1990, I have been in various units and institutions as commander, as instructor, and uh, also in other capacity, if you call them extracurricular. I have grown through this system, and uh, I'm opportuned to be promoted up to this rank, all from the beginning to now, as at when do you. I have served across the country from Northwest. I was GOC 1 Division Nigerian Army. I'm even from that zone. So I understand the dynamics of the challenges in that area. I would have been going to the southeast if not for these proceedings. And having known that uh, sometime before you commence other activities, you actually require this confirmation. My program was prepared to have gone there also to see what is happening there and bring inputs to bear. My unit before coming here, I was theater commander, Operation Lafayette Adoli. I have been there for over a year. In the history, I was the ninth uh, theater commander. Only the current CDS, General Erabo, has served more than me. So I know the dynamics also of the challenges in that area. I have also been to Liberia. As a lieutenant, I was promoted there as a captain, because having spent three years there. I participated in the operation there. My unit then was Kakata. Those who are conversant with the operation there know that that, the, that was the four, furthermost deployment of ECOMOC as at that time. And I was involved as adjutant, as I.O., in the preparations and organization of even other negotiations. We have several times received Trevor Gordon Summers, the UN Special Representative of the uh, United Nations. We have also participated in other operations. In the theater, uh, my being theater commander was not the first mission. I was there under General Irabo then as the Brigade Commander, 29 Tax Force Brigade, then located at Brogozo. Those of you who are conversing with that area, that's near Benishek. I was also involved 
in operation flush out then not is two when we are serving in 20 battalion in Sarti operation against bandits and others particularly in areas covering Karin Lamido and uh, other areas so I am conversant so to speak with all the challenges that we are facing having grown to do this job and having done all the required courses that commensurate to my ranks as I grow, starting from young officers course up to company commander, up to battalion commander. Before that time, I have also commanded all across. I was a garrison commander, guard brigade garrison, which is like a battalion, if you will call it. I was brigade commander two times, four brigade in Benin where we are involved also in the activities of the South-South, what's happening there. Even before that time, I was in Yenagua, a chief of staff, Operation Pulo Shield, now Operation Delta Safe. So I'm also conversing with challenges of militancy and other activities there. Then before there, from Benin, I went to Gorgozo to get acquainted with the operations in Northeast. I came back, I was also back to the Department of Administration, where I was direct to Manpower Planning. Manpower Planning is the office that is responsible for the posting and training and even recruitment of soldiers into depot and other training institutions. So I was conversant with uh, the activities required in recruitment. I was also in the Office of Military Secretary. I think I was one of the longest serving officer there. I was DMS-3, I was DMS-2, I was DMS-1, and I was military secretary in the Nigerian Army. So I'm also conversant with the procedures and process and requirement for, you know, commissioning of officers in the Nigerian Army. Uh, before now, I uh, after that, it's after that time I uh, went to from MS, I went to one division where we also are involved with the operation that are still now going, ongoing, uh, including Operation Thunder Strike along the main supply route and other operations. Uh, it's from one div that I proceeded to the theater. And in the theater, I'm pleased to say that it was under my command, my charge, that the theater was able to enter the much dreaded Timbuktu Triangle that had not been entered for several years. And the achievement recorded are there for a very long time. Uh, we have not been able to enter there, but we have been there. And the relative peace and security we have achieved also over the past one year. What I'm saying are uh, verifiable. I'm pleased that uh, distinguished Senator Ndume is here. We have met there several times. We have been to Goza several times. And uh, we have related. And uh, uh, the achievement we have recorded, Moses, as they will be, with the support, of course, of the National Assembly, both uh, Senate and the House of Reps, that have intervened on several occasions to provide the necessary requirements, uh, we are most grateful. I'm opportune to know the role played by the National Assembly, both Senate and House of Resp, because at the level of theater commander, at the level of military secretary, at the level of general officer commanding, you are relatively close to know uh, what happens. I severally received the chief of army staff in one division, which he visited several times. I have accompanied him also from the theater to uh, Faskari, for example, in that Operation Sahel Sanity. I have accompanied him to all several other locations. He has visited me at GOC one division several times. He has also visited me in the theater several times. So I'm opportune to hear and to know uh, the roles played by the National Assembly, which we are most appreciative, and uh, I think I will play request that uh, that kind of gesture of concern, of support, be extended to me if I am so confirmed. Thank you so very much, sir.
temptation is a lot. Just trying to, we, we are, uh, the president promised to reject the security apparatus. He has done it. The supplementary budget is before us, and uh, we will give it a very expedient uh, consideration. Uh, the chief of army staff was before us. Uh, what we discuss is in 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 in, uh, in camera, so I can't discuss it out of camera. But all I can say is all is well, and we are expecting light at the end of the toilet, inshallah. In the, the in, in, at the end of the tunnel, tunnel not toilet. <laughs> Well, uh, my interaction with the Senate uh, is very encouraging. They have, uh, beside their screening and uh, uh, questions, they have also assured the Nigerian Army, and in fact the military, of their continuous support. And you know what their support, they were in good stead to now achieve our mandate. So I appreciate uh, all the contribution they have made and the assurance they have given, which I have taken and I believe with them and their support, uh, we are good to go. Thank you very much.